Hello friends, it's Chris Angel, coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. That's what we do here. We come at you with uh, <laughs> advice for marketing and uh, perspective so that you can be sane in this ever-changing world of technology, etc. So let's dive in, shall we? Let's get straight to the point. I had a call today actually with um, somebody in one of our programs. And um, this is very, I'm going to share this with you. It's uh, obviously I'm not revealing anybody here, but I'm going to share with you um, how it was for him because it's how it's been for me in the past until I got to the other side of it. And that is <clears throat> feeling like uh, you can't lead a conversation in the world until you have figured it all out, until you've reached the mountaintop. Who are you to lead? Moreover, it's easy when you don't feel like you are where you're, when you don't feel like where you are right now is where you have wanted to be. And You've been on that road for a long time. So you're, all you have collected is mounds and mounds of evidence that you aren't there yet. Mounds of evidence that you're still failing. And it can be very hard in that space of feeling like you've continually failed to feel like a leader, to feel like you're valid to lead a conversation in the world. So... This is very, this is very, very real. There's a lot of people who, um, like you, okay, and me, who feel inspired to share, or oh, let me say it this way, feel inspired to help others. We, f- we feel inspired to talk about transformation, to heal, to help. And then when it gets time to actually say something to the world, we back off because we don't feel like we're valid enough yet. We might have, in fact, I think most of us, when we get to that place, we have something that we feel is important. We have a lesson, we have a message, we have a theme, right? It could be something like relationships. I Look, I use marketing in this show to actually access deeper spiritual truths, right? I have a heart for business people because I feel like business people put all their uh, all their skin in the game. There's like all all chips in, like we're all in. I love that. And what are we all in for? It's not to make a buck. Our tribe is all in in business because we actually have a difference we want to make. And so one of the biggest challenges I see that we have is in marketing. So as much as I'm trying to give you some perspective around marketing, ultimately what we're really talking about is how do you start to shape your message so that, and find your message and clarify your message so you can say that to the world. So for you, it might be something else. It might be um, you feel like life has taught you about relationships. Maybe life has taught you about food and body image. Maybe life has taught you about how to live empowered or, or to be a parent. There's a lot of things that life could have taught you that you feel inspired to share back with the world because it's that important. But the minute you get ready to share, again, you shrink back because you don't you haven't gotten there yet. You, all you can see is how far you still have to go and all the failure that you've had up until now. I remember, this is not, this, this is not that long ago, where I, um, as an adult with a, a, a wife and kids, um, was borrowing money from my mom. And I remember how embarrassing that was for me. I mean, I didn't broadcast that to the world. I didn't go out to the world and say like, hey world, guess what? I'm borrowing money from my mom. It's embarrassing. And I I remember my internal dialogue in those moments was like, how is it that a grown ass man can't provide for his own family or that I need to borrow money from my mom, right? I mean, talk about feeling small, feeling like a child. And yet I was willing to do what I needed to do to to see my vision through. And in in that space of life where I was borrowing money from my mom, I didn't feel... I didn't feel uh, I didn't feel strong. I didn't feel like I had my answers all figured out. I definitely didn't feel like I was on the mountaintop and all I could see out in front of me was the huge distance to go before I could actually reach what I felt was my potential. But if all we do, gang, is wait until we reach our potential or what we feel like our potential is before we share, before we share back with those behind us the lessons that life has brought us, If we wait, 
we will never share. Partly because life, your potential continues to expand. And the hard part is if you wait to share, your, your potential keeps expanding because you keep seeing new ideas, new visions, new messages, and you don't take action, you don't share, then you keep, you're increasing the gap between here and your potential. So you have to start to share. So how do we do this? How do we begin to share when we don't feel valid? Okay, well, the first thing I need you to do is to start to look at the victories you've already have. You are not where you want to be, but thank God you are not where you used to be. You are not where you want to be, but thank God you're not where you used to be. So you have to look, you have to look past what you feel like are your current failures and look at where were you before because life brought you to this moment. You made some choices not that long ago to take a different path than you were on before. Other, right? And, and there was this moment of courage, this moment of, I'm going, if I'm going to live this life, I'm going to live it for me on my terms. And off you went and you took that plunge. Now you're down the road and it doesn't feel like you're winning, but thank God you're not where you used to be. And what I need you to get for a moment is that the people you're trying to serve, the people you can add value for are the ones who are stuck where you were stuck. And a victory to them looks like getting out of the rat race they're currently in, which you have done. Just because you don't have the results that you said you wanted doesn't mean that the results you currently have aren't what the people behind you want. You have made some courageous decisions in life and it has brought you somewhere and you have learned along the way. Now, even in the even if you haven't felt like you've been winning the whole time, even if you've been failing the whole time, Every failure gives you perspective to share back with others so they don't have to make the same mistakes you made. I've said this in past episodes, right? Where I'm like, listen, I've made so many mistakes in marketing. I just fail my way forward for 17 years. <clears throat> and I just tell you like, look, draft on my failures. Follow what I'm doing because you can, I can just save you a ton of heartache from 17 years, years of failing in marketing. Is that valuable to you? I think so. I, if you don't want to make the same mistakes, if you don't want to take 17 years of failure to get where I'm at, it could be valuable to you. So sometimes your value, guys, isn't come from the fact that you have all the answers or that you're on the mountaintop. It comes from your failures and helping people avoid those failures and finding their own answers. They don't need your answers. They need to find their own answers. How do we help them do that? We provide perspective from where we're at in the game today. That's it. That's how we share. That's Listen, guys, that is marketing. In the tribal economy, this is marketing. We keep sharing with our people that we're trying to serve all of our failures so that they don't have to make the same mistakes. And if you could redeem, if you could redeem your failures in your mind and in your heart as something that serves your tribe, then you don't have to feel shame. You don't have to feel embarrassed that you're still failing you can actually take heart in that you keep failing actually helps your tribe not fail as much. Now you can actually speak from a place of confidence because this is where I need you to get. I need you to start to get out, of, out from under the shame and out from under the embarrassment of what you still feel as a failure and start to see that you living your life courageously, taking choice, chances that others didn't is actually the victory. And from that place, you get to share the failures you're having because you're helping others avoid and skip those failures. You're providing perspective and comfort and guidance and structure for others who are a couple mile markers behind you in life. Here's what I know about you if you're in this tribe. You have taken, you're ready to take on or have already taken on what you feel called to do, right? There's this thing bubbling up in you that's like, I'm, I want my life to matter. I want meaning in my life. And if I'm gonna do a business, I'm gonna do it in a way that has meaning and purpose. I'm tired of just doing it for transactions. I actually wanna make an impact in the world. And in order for you to really fully step into that, you have to realize that there are those behind you who haven't made that decision yet. And they're wrestling with, the courage it takes to step out and pursue their calling. 
they're scared to death. And what they don't need is somebody who's, who's untouchable on the mountaintop, on a pedestal, who has it all figured out because that's unapproachable. What they need is somebody who's not that far ahead who could actually speak some truth in the trenches while their face is dirty, right? While your hands are dirty in the trenches, you could actually provide practical, real, believable perspective. I'm actually, frankly, tired of the people on the mountaintop who can say, you could 10X your business overnight when I'm not them. This whole show, marketing for the rest of us, the rest of us, we're not Gary Vaynerchuk. We're not those people. We're not Grant Cardone. We're not Marie Forleo. We're us, right? We're us. We're in the trenches of this together. And the value you get from me isn't because I figured it all out. The value you get from me is the perspective I've I've gained and the perspective I continue to gain because I keep pressing into the question. I keep pressing into my failures for the lesson. I keep pressing into my failures for the lesson. Why? So that I can pass it on to you. Do you hear I don't do you hear shame or embarrassment in my voice? No. Am I still failing? Yes. Why is there no shame and embarrassment in my voice? Because I keep pressing into the lesson. Why? So that I can share it back with you. That is what leading is. Leading a conversation isn't about having the answers. Leading a conversation is about facilitating how others can look into their own failures for the lesson. And that gang is how we lead a conversation, even when we don't have the answers, even when we're not on the mountaintop, okay? So, fired up evening tonight, yes? Um, here's my encouragement to you. Here's what I want you to do with this. I want you to start to go look at um, all the victories you've had since you've made this decision to go pursue whatever it is that you're choosing to pursue in your calling, in your purpose, in your meaning, right? Where were you before? Remember where you were. Remember where you came from and see if you can't start to find the positive uh, the positives, the victories in where you are now compared to where you were. Do you remember when you were imprisoned by your life and your choices? Do you remember what it felt like to step out from that, the fear, the shame, the whatever, the, the, do you remember any of that? And then ask yourself, how did you get to the other side of it? How is it that you're still going? Oh my God. Some of you have the patience and the stubbornness and the resolve of a superhero, because you're still going. Other people lesser than you would have quit years ago and you're still going. How are you doing that? What superhuman um, power do you have that is allowing you to keep going? That's a victory. And you need to help others realize that, listen, they're about to make some decisions in their life and it's not going to be easy. And you can actually provide the structure and the comfort and the voice, the conversation that helps them continue that journey, whatever that journey is that you feel called to help them down. All right, if this is a new conversation for you, you're like, or I'm not, you're not clear yet about the conversation you want to lead, but you know there is a conversation for you to lead. I'm gonna recommend you get my free course called Marketing for the Rest of Us, the course. You can start that today at groundswellmethod.com. Groundswell, groundswell, groundswell method.com. Okay. Groundswellmethod.com. It's five videos just over 90 minutes. And it is an appetizer for our six week method intensive, right? Our six week, uh, groundswell method intensive, which walks you through the actual implementation of this whole thing. Okay. All right, gang. Um, listen, I'm in your corner. I want you to win. I want you to lead. I want you to live out the rest of the days of your life until the day you die feeling on purpose, on fire with a life full of meaning. And that is what this whole show is about. That's what this whole approach to marketing is about, that you would be able to lead a conversation with the rest of the world so that you could set others free, just like you're in the process of setting yourself free. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight in this episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. And until tomorrow, have a great night.